Hello and happy new comic book day for October 12th, 2022. This is Cat Fan Comics Man and I'm here for another NCBD haul. Another mail call, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. But uh, thank goodness my pile isn't as big as last week's. So it's a decent stack, but it's not too bad. It's about half the size of last week so i'm pretty happy with that so anyway we'll go ahead and get this started we'll start off with my one and only indie book this week i don't know how that happened i usually have a lot of indie books but we have seven sons number five this is the lee cover Then we have Axe, Iron Fist, number one. This cover is by Philip Tan. We're rounding out the Axe series, so there's a lot of Axe tie-ins. Here we have the Axe tie-in of Wolverine, number 25. This is the Adam Kubert cover. I like that cover. Then we have All Out Avengers, number two. This is the Greg Land cover. That's cool seeing Doctor Doom with Thor's hammer and Cap Shield. That's cool. I like that cover. Then we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 11, The Return of the Hobgoblin. This cover is by John Romita Jr. Then we have another Axe title here. We have Eternals number one, cover by Nick Klein. Then we have the Axe tie-in of Captain Marvel, number 42, cover by Juan Frigeri. I like that cover, too. There's some pretty cool covers this week. Then we have the Axe tie-in of the Fantastic Four, number 48, cover by Keifu. Then we have Gambit, number four, cover by Portacio. Then we have Ghost Rider, number seven, cover by Kyle New. Then we have the Immortal X-Men number 7 Axe tie-in. And this cover is by Mark Brooks. I love Nightcrawler. Oh. Then we have the Axe tie-in of Legion of X number 6. This cover is by Ruan. I think that's kind of cool the way they did that. Then we have Punisher War Journal Brother number one, cover by Lionel Francis Yu. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> then we have, I love this cover. Then we have Star Wars number 28, the New Hope 45th Anniversary variant. And this cover is by Greg Land. I really love this cover. In fact, I already have some collectibles I have in mind for it. For my show. Next up, we have Venom number 11. This cover is by Brian Hitch.
Then we have another Axe tie-in, Death to All Mutants, number three, covered by Esau Ribic. Look at the White Queen. She's riding the rodeo. She's going to town. And then last but not least, another Axe tie-in. We have X-Force, number 32, covered by Joshua Kassara. So as you see, it wasn't as big of a pile this week as it usually is, but it still was a pretty good size, so I got some reading to do. And don't forget about my daily comic and collectible going on, and of course, my drop every Wednesday of New Comic Book Day, and then every Friday of the FOC picks of my choice, plus my blaster box rips whenever I get a chance. And mail calls on Monday when I get them in. So I want to thank you for sticking around and watching. And this is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.